Hey, this is Joel from Metageek, and if you're watching this video, then there's a good chance that you're like me and you're working from home right now and probably stressing your home Wi-Fi more than ever before. We make tools for fixing Wi-Fi issues, and so we've decided to make something specifically designed to help you and your family solve home Wi-Fi issues, and we call it Rampart. Let me show you what it is. Now, the first thing that you do with Rampart after you install it is it runs down here in the system tray, which is down next to the clock in your Windows PC. It's just a tiny application that sits there and monitors your Wi-Fi to see what's going on. When we launch it for the first time, Rampart is going to ask us which uh, online activities are important to us. So for example, I'm gonna say that for me, I need email and web browsing. I like to stream music with Spotify and I'm doing a lot of video conferencing right now. So we'll select those three use cases. Then it's going to direct us to take a Wi-Fi audit in multiple rooms in the house. Now, I've already got multiple rooms defined here. Um, let's uh, let's say that, that we just want to use one of these existing rooms, and we're just going to scan my office since that's where I'm sitting right now. So we'll select Joel's office, and then we'll click Scan Room. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a scan of your wireless network. We're going to look to see how good is the signal strength. Which Wi-Fi channel are you on? Are, there, are you sharing your channel with any other Wi-Fi network? from your neighbors. Then we're going to do an upload test to see how fast your internet is when we upload data to the internet. And then we're going to perform another test to see how quickly we can download data from the internet. When your internet service provider tells you how fast your internet connection is, they're usually talking about your, your download. So you can see here that my signal strength is negative 41 dBm. I know that's a really technical term. All you really need to do is look and see if this is green to know that it's good. You can see that my upload speed is 2 megabits bits per second. I'm not happy about that. It's not very fast, but it's the best I can get here. And my download speed test was 34 megabits per second. Eh, not bad. That's pretty good. And then Rampart agent sends that data up to the cloud. Now from here, we can go scan another room. So for example, let's say that we want to scan the playroom. Now, obviously I'm not going to go over there because I'm you know sitting here making a video, but we'll run this scan really quick. So once again, it's going to scan our Wi-Fi, see how good our signal strength is. It's going to upload some data to the internet and see how fast our upload is. And then it'll run that download test one more time uh, to see how good our download is before sending this data up to the cloud. Now, the idea here is you'd want to do this whenever you make a major change to your home network. Maybe you buy a new router or maybe you move your, net, your router somewhere else in your house. That would be a good time to do an audit and go scan all of your different rooms. Okay, so let's say that we're done scanning rooms. You'd want to scan all of them, but for our example here, we'll just do these two and then we'll move on. And we get a summary of what happened. So you can see here that our available bandwidth is 36 megabits per second. That's the download. And uh, we have two megabits per second available on the upload. Remember that's sending data from my house back up to the internet. That's for things like uploading photos. Obviously, if you're doing uh, you know, a video call with Zoom, then you have to upload data continuously while you're doing that. But really, Really, all that we need to do the things that we said that we wanted to do is three megabits per second down and three megabits per second up. We can also see the two scans that I took. So here's the one in my office, and then here's the one in the kids' playroom, which I didn't actually go and scan, but we can see the results of that, that audit. So if we want to get a full report for this, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the View Audit Report button, and that's going to launch your web browser where you can sign into Rampart on the internet. Now, this is going to give us a full report for what is going on on our network. Now, there's a lot of different things that you can do here. You can manage rooms, and you can say, well, this device happens to be in this room, and so on and so forth. But the big thing that I want to show you here is that you can scroll down to the Wi-Fi audit report and we'll tell you about any issues that we found on your network. Like for example, one issue that Rampart found for my network here at home is that my ISP data plan might be limited. And if you wanna learn more about that, you can click on this learn about ISP speeds and we'll walk you through what you would need to do to fix this problem. So that's how you do a Wi-Fi audit with Rampart. Uh, let's also, talk about the daily check. Now, the daily check uh, is, is a check that you would want to run before you get on that important Zoom call, before you start to teach a class remotely, uh, before you need to do anything critical on your network. This is a great way to look and see how good your Wi-Fi is and to have that peace of mind to make sure it's going to work the way that you need it to. So let's click check now. And this is going to run a series of checks on my home Wi-Fi to make sure that everything is working well. Like for example, it's looking to see, hey, can we 
we even see your home router? Can we get to it from whatever room in the house that you're in? Are we connected to the internet? We'll look to see if we can actually see the internet. Are common websites accessible? So we can see, for example, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, and Netflix are all available right now. We'll also check your Wi-Fi signal to make sure that you are connected, uh, that you're connected at a good signal strength. We'll also make sure that you're connected to the best access point. And there's some cases where if you have more than one access point, that's another name for a router. If you have more than one access point in your home, sometimes your Wi-Fi devices like your iPhone or your Android phone or your iPad or whatever will stay connected to the one that's not as close to you. And so we'll alert you if that happens here. We'll let you know if your laptop is connected to your router that's on the opposite end of the house instead of the one that maybe you have in your uh, in your home office. We'll also uh, we'll also check your upload speed to see uh, to see how that is, and we'll check your download speed. And so notice here that uh, my Wi-Fi signal is good at 90%. That's really nice. I'm connected to the the best access point. Oh, but look at the upload speed once again. I failed to meet that that uh, three megabit per second requirement. Uh, I'm probably going to have a little bit of trouble with things like Zoom calls and things like that. And I got one coming up in a little while, so I probably probably need to start thinking about maybe getting that resolved. And we can see that my download speeds are in good shape. And so this is an awesome way to get some peace of mind to double check your network before that important Zoom call to make sure that everything is going to work. Now, the last thing I want to show you is the stats page. This is great for geeks and nerds like like me because this shows me some stats about what's going on with my uh, with how my my uh, Windows PC is connected to my Wi-Fi. So first off, we can see which frequency band we're in. We're currently connected in the 2.4 gigahertz band. That's pretty not great actually because the five gigahertz band is much cleaner. It's a much, much more reliable place to have Wi-Fi. We can see that my signal strength is actually pretty good. We're sitting at 90% uh, signal quality right now and the data rate that we're connected to my router with is 144 megabits per second. Okay, pretty good. That tells me that the bottleneck isn't my Wi-Fi. Remember, my upload speed because of my ISP plan is only two megabits per second. That's where my bottleneck is. The Wi-Fi is working great. It's my internet service provider that might be causing the bottleneck here. We also get a network usage chart. This is gonna show me uh, how how much of my network resources I've been using. Now, earlier, before I jumped on and, and uh, made this video, I did a quick speed test. You can actually see this spike right here. You can see that I hit not quite 40 megabits per second. That gives you kind of a good baseline, but you can tell, is there something on your computer that's eating up all of your internet bandwidth uh, before you jump on a Zoom call or something like that. Maybe you've got 100 Google Chrome tabs opened right now and there's one that's playing a YouTube video at 4K resolution and maybe that's what's eating up all your bandwidth. So this is designed to help you understand how much traffic your, uh, your computer is moving back and forth between the internet. So that's a really quick demonstration of Rampart Agent and Rampart in the web. I hope that you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions at all, please, please, please feel free to get in touch with us at www.metageek.com. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you soon.